John and Laura met at their Phoenix, Arizona preschool when they were just three years old. John first noticed Laura on the playground and knew he wanted to be her friend. So he started following her around. Soon enough, Laura warmed up to John and they became inseparable. Although their parents thought their friendship was adorable, they didn't think much of it. Soon enough, they were best friends. The pals did everything together. From playing hide-and-seek on the playground to mischievously staying up during nap time. Soon though, the best friends wanted to hang out all the time, not just at preschool. For John and Laura, playing together at preschool wasn't enough, they wanted to hang out more. By this point, the two best friends' parents knew each other so the little ones started playing on the weekends too. They planned fun play dates and went to the movies with each other. With parent chaperones of course. John would even grab Laura's hand during the scary parts. The two pals were clearly inseparable. And although John was just four years old, he wanted everyone to know how he felt about Laura. It's funny to think back to when we were little kids and remember the things we did to impress our friends. Whether it was showing off our collection of Pokemon cards or swinging extra high on the swings. Those days were much sweeter. John loved his best friend Laura and was always trying to impress her. One of his favorite ways to show off how cool he was was to recite lines from his favorite Disney movies. John may have spent lots of time trying to impress Laura. But Laura effortlessly impressed him. She even taught him lots of things too. Laura was the one who taught John how to swing on the swings. She also taught him how to draw rolling hills and even how to eat string cheese the right way. These things might seem minor to us now. But when someone teaches you things like this as a kid, they become the moments you really remember for the rest of your life. By the time they were four years old, everyone knew that John and Laura were best friends. It was easy to see. After all, while at preschool, the pair was attached at the hip. And they hung out every weekend. Their friendship was undoubtedly special. Everyone thought the two were little lovebirds. One day, Matt stood in front of the class and declared that one day, he would marry Laura, saying, Just you wait. Unsurprisingly, his classmates laughed at him. After all, how many of your childhood friends do you still keep in touch with? Little did they know. His prediction wasn't that far off. While no one took John's declaration seriously, he and Laura remained best friends throughout preschool. They continued to set up playdates outside of school and always attended each other's birthday parties. Even though they were just four years old, their bond was clearly special. It truly seemed like John's declaration might not even be so absurd. But as preschool came to a close, the pals were about to go through a big change, starting kindergarten. Unfortunately, their bond would soon be put to the test. Before they knew it, the day was finally here. John and Laura were starting kindergarten. The two had graduated from preschool and were ready to start the next chapter of their lives. Starting kindergarten is a big step in any child's life. But it was even more bittersweet for John and Laura. The preschool pals weren't sure if they would be put in the same class and were starting to realize their days of playing with each other all day might be over. Not only were John and Laura not in the same kindergarten class, they weren't even enrolled in the same school. Of course, this wasn't a deliberate choice made by their parents. But rather, it was dictated by where they lived. Still, the best friends were upset when they realized they wouldn't be able to play together as much anymore. Their parents didn't seem to understand how attached they were either. 
and simply assured the pals they would still get to play together on the weekends. Their parents assured the two pals that would still get to play together on the weekends. But this was only partially true. Life gets busy. And before they knew it, John and Laura's time together was steadily dwindling. Still, the pals tried to hang out whenever they could. They even took this sweet Christmas card photo with two of their other friends one year. Unfortunately, as the two finished kindergarten and went on to other grades, they started seeing each other less and less. They didn't know that Christmas cards would eventually become their only form of communication. As the years went by, John and Laura saw each other less and less. While they once played every day and even took Christmas photos together. Now the old friends only kept in touch when their families exchanged Christmas cards in the mail. While the two missed each other. They were busy with school and homework and family and new friends and were simply going through the motions of everyday life. They say distance makes the heart grow fonder. But this isn't always true. It definitely wasn't true for Matt and Laura. Several years passed and the two old friends no longer eagerly awaited the new Christmas cards. They were growing up and living their own separate lives. As we grow up and are constantly learning new things, meeting new people, and having new experiences, it's all too easy to forget about our past. As far as it seemed, John and Laura had had a sweet childhood friendship. But they'd grown up and moved on. Before they knew it, nearly ten years had passed and John and Laura were ready to start high school. Again, they were enrolled in different schools. At this point, the old pals rarely thought about each other. After all, it had been almost a decade since they were really close. But one day, Something unbelievable happened. During the fall of her freshman year, Laura was on her friend's phone when she noticed a name pop up. Laura was shocked to see John's name before her eyes and suddenly the sweet childhood memories came flooding back. She asked her friend how she knew John and apparently, the two had met in middle school. Suddenly, the world was feeling much, much smaller. Laura told her friend about her and John's preschool romance. She decided it was best not to think too much about it. But her friend had other ideas. Immediately after Laura finished telling her friend about she and John's preschool romance, her friend got a crazy idea. She wanted to set John and Laura up. Laura's friends told her the idea. But Laura was hesitant at first. After all, she knew nothing about John anymore. The two hadn't spoken in years. There was no way things would be the same. Or would they? Laura was understandably nervous at the idea of being set up with John. Not only was she nervous, but she wasn't even sure if she should really have a boyfriend at the time. She even told people, I was a freshman in high school so I was like, I don't think so. But despite her reservations, Laura's friend had a good feeling about her two friends. She went ahead and gave Laura's number to John. She never expected the reaction from John. Not long after John got Laura's number, he texted her and soon enough, the two were chatting and agreed to meet up. They set up a date and decided they would go see a movie together. The two met up and immediately it was like no time at all had passed. Matt even told people that he knew it was love at first sight. Just like when they were in preschool. The old friends hit it off right away. While John and Laura had been best friends in preschool, there was no way to know that they would hit it off now that they were teenagers. But when they met up, it was like no time had passed. Their first date went off without a hitch and soon enough, 
The two started officially dating, becoming boyfriend and girlfriend. Although they went to different high schools, now that they were able to drive, it was easier to keep up their relationship. Once again, they were inseparable, accompanying each other to high school dances and other functions. But with college on the horizon, things were about to change again. With their senior year in full swing and college on the horizon, the couple had a tough decision to make. They had already been separated once before and didn't want to lose each other again. But they were going to different colleges in different states and didn't want to miss out on experiences either. Eventually, John and Laura decided they would go away to their respective colleges but would try to make a long-distance relationship work. While Laura went to Northern Arizona University, John moved to Chicago to attend Columbia College. They were now one. 600 miles away from each other. But while distance may not have made their hearts grow fonder when they were just kids, but this time it was different. They were committed to making it work. The couple knew being so far apart would be a challenge. But they cared so deeply for each other that they wanted to do everything they could to make it work. They made sure to fully immerse themselves in college life. But also keep up a healthy relationship with one another. This wasn't always easy. Especially because they were in different time zones. But thanks to social media, they were able to see each other every day. They even made frequent trips to visit one another in their new homes. Although they had social media to keep up with one another, they still had long stretches of times when they couldn't see each in person. The longest stretch they had between visits was nearly six months. While they were college, they each realized something big. They truly wanted to be together. But the distance between them was getting to be a challenge for both of them, especially John. He knew he had to do something about it. Soon enough, it was senior year all over again. Only this time it was their senior year of college. John knew he wanted to celebrate the two starting their last year of school in a big way. While they were both home during the summer, he had an idea for an adorable date. Since they both had been working so hard in school, he wanted to surprise Laura with a date that would be relaxing and romantic. He planned a picnic at their preschool. How sweet is that? While John did indeed plan to have a relaxing and romantic picnic at the sweet location. That wasn't all that he had planned. Laura knew that John had planned a picnic for the two of them. But she had no idea that he had planned for their picnic to be at the preschool where they met nearly 20 years ago. John was more than excited to surprise Laura with the gesture. He thought the preschool was the perfect symbol to help celebrate their relationship. He truly valued their unique love story and wanted to take Laura back to where it all started. Before the couple arrived at the preschool Laura noticed that John appeared to be nervous. He seemed to be constantly fidgeting in his seat the whole car ride. She figured it was because he was taking her to a surprise location. When they finally arrived at the preschool, Laura was completely overwhelmed by the thoughtful gesture. She already felt so lucky to have John in her life. But now her emotions were running high. Laura was already so surprised that John had planned this picnic for the two of them at their old preschool. But she was about to get an even bigger surprise when suddenly, John got down on one knee and asked his girl to marry him. Laura was shocked. She saw the ring and was like, That was gorgeous. She was so happy with it. Of course. She said. Yes. John may have proposed to Laura. He had been planning the special event for months. He purchased the gorgeous engagement ring months before. 
and even asked Laura's dad for his blessing prior to popping the question. John also made sure to have his brother hide out at the preschool so he could capture the engagement on camera. The cutest thing of all is that John used his parents' old picnic basket that his father had used to propose to his mom. His parents even packed the basket with sparkling cider and wedding magazines. Although John and Laura were still in college, he decided he didn't want to wait until they both graduated. He knew Laura was the one and wanted to make things official. So he decided to stay true to his preschool pledge. John and Laura officially wed at the Arizona Historical Society. John and Laura's wedding was obviously a special day for them. But it was even more special for them to be able to share their love story with their friends and family. Having everyone they love together. Celebrating them and dancing the night away was the best gift they could have ever asked for. Now that John and Laura were officially a married couple, it was time to keep the celebration going. The couple jet off on their honeymoon to the gorgeous island of Maui. There they spent nearly two weeks exploring everything the island has to offer. More importantly, they got to enjoy time with each other.